Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. It's about 3 o'clock. Goodness, it's already 3 o'clock. Anyway, uh, so this afternoon, let's do something fun. Okay, I have, by the way, how many of you out there uh, spro over is? Okay, it's a spro over. You know what? I don't know exactly how the name come about, but I'm going to shout out to my buddy Steve. Uh, Steve showed uh, show us how to make a uh, past weekend on our Discord channel. So, you know what? I'm going to try his recipe uh, this afternoon. By the way, if you are curious about what Spro Over is, if you search for Spro Over on YouTube, you're going to get quite a few results. Okay, here, let's take a look here. Uh, look like Lance has one, and uh, Lance has a video on that. It's a Spro Over, the crazy, delicious, bizarre world of coffee shots. Okay, so we have uh, quite a few. Actually, it's only about a couple of videos, maybe three videos, maybe four videos on Spro Over. But uh, today, I'm going to be using the uh, recipe from Steve. So let's try his recipe pretty much. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be using, uh, it's going to be geisha. Okay, it's going to be, I'm going to go a little fancy this afternoon. Let's go with the Panama geisha, little old, okay, roasted on January 4th. So it's about what, four weeks old. So I'm going to be using 15 gram. Uh, it's going to be coarser grinds, okay? It's not going to be really coarse, but uh, so I usually use about three on my uh, EK43 three for my espresso, but I'm going to be using about maybe like two, uh, two and a half, okay, 2.5 on grinder setting there. So I'm going to be using uh, Lele Bianca with a low pressure, okay, low of flow, okay, low flow control. We are, we are going to do the long shot. It could be a minute, could be a minute and a half. I'm shooting for around uh, 1 to 15 ratio. So think of it as the pour over using espresso machine, okay? So I got 15 gram, a uh, little coarser grinder setting. And then, so I got 15 gram in around 225 gram out. So I'm really looking forward to it. I have not tried it yet. So looking forward to trying it out this afternoon. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome, okay? Uh, if you haven't entered the DF64 coffee grinder giveaway, make sure to do so now, okay? Only thing you gotta do is just follow my Instagram page, subscribe my channel, and uh, press like on uh, Espresso Outlet, uh, Facebook. Should be, you know, very simple. So you have, uh, uh, one person can enter three times, okay? So your odds are pretty good so far. Uh, I think as of this morning, only 400 people uh, enter the drawing. So yeah, one out of 400, it's not too bad. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera here for you guys. And again, I'm going to be using the two or around 2.5 on the grinder setting there. You know, I gotta love the speed of EK43. So fast, okay? Speed is incredible. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I can smell the jasmine. Okay. Let's prepare the puck here. All right, let's get going here. Hope you guys can see that. Let's do WDT, okay. I'm doing 15 gram. Let's use, use a force temper. So this is about 15 gram here. Uh, I'm going to be using the puck screen as well. Okay. The reason why I like to use puck screen is less messy. Okay. Just lock it in. 
Got my scale. Again, I'm going to shrink for around 225 grand, like 1 to 15 ratio. Get my cups up. Okay, so, so here is a full uh, flow, okay? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go maybe half flow. You know what? Maybe even. So here's the no flow here. Maybe we do about 25%. Let's do 25%. Okay. Very low pressure for a long time. So we're going to get about 225. Okay, here's time. We're at 70, 90 there. That's the great thing about the Rory pump. I mean, you can just let it go for a long time if you want to. Trying to shoot for 225. Around 200 grams should be fine. I'm at 66 seconds, going on 70. Let's do 200 gram. Okay, you got 200 at 78 seconds. So that is kind of like a spur over type. So that's not a Americano. Okay, so this is, I mean, this is like, think of it as espresso, but it's a longer shot. But let's try this coffee. Okay, I'm very excited about this one. Now I can smell the jasmine. Smells wonderful. Man. So let's try this. I think I'm going to wait about a few more minutes, okay? This is pretty hot. Let's, that's about another minute or so. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Okay, welcome to live streaming. And then, uh, let's see here. Cuckoo for coffee says, water down espresso. Yes, yes it is. Okay. And um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, next time what I like to do is I like to compare. Uh, with Americano versus spur over. Okay. So it's about almost 80 second shot. So with a very low pressure there. I do see some creme on the top. You see that? You see the crema? Okay, cooker for coffee ask me, have you brewed green beans? No, I have not. Have you tried it yet? Yeah, I'm just gonna mix it up here. <coughs> okay, Again, so this is the Panama Geisha. Uh, tasting notes are jasmine. And what else? I'm not, oh, hold on. Jasmine, raspberry, and grape. Okay. So it's, been, it's almost empty. That's why I tried uh, this method. By the way, there's so many different ways to make great coffee. So, I mean, there's no one method. So, uh, let me know in the comment section what is your favorite brewing method? Cheers. You know, it's not too bad, I have to say. I can taste the jasmine hitting my mouth, uh, followed by grape. 
and uh, the kind of like hint of raspberry. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with it. So again, this is the first time trying this. So this is quite pleasant. If you haven't tried this one yet, yeah, definitely try. Again, uh, if you are have uh, Bravo Brista Express, uh, you could actually try that as well. But Bravo Brista Express, the motor is run about one minute. Okay, so you are going to do the pre-infusion shot. Just hold down the pre, uh, hold down the uh, single or double cut button. Hold it down. Uh, get you in the pre-infusion mode there, which means lower pressure, and then just let it go until machine shuts off after one minute. So. I mean, again, I mean, that's pretty simple. I just change the grinder setting a little bit and try that shot, okay? I think you might, so this one is, I'm, I'm pretty surprised by the quality of the, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, Drunk Vigo, uh, the BBE, just give me a channeling, bro. Okay. Uh, what kind of, okay, so obviously you are using the bottomless port filter there. Uh, what kind of beans are you using? Are you using the fresh coffee, store-bought coffee? Yeah, let me know, okay? Uh, sometimes whenever you buy like store-bought coffee, even though that's brand new bag, uh, give you a lot of channeling. So, uh, so let me know, okay? I'm looking at your live chat right now. Hopefully we can figure it out for you. And also, what kind of basket? Are you using the default baskets from Bravo? That's about 16 gram basket there. So if you are 16 gram baskets, uh, try. So you are going to, hold on. Whole beans, uh, whole beans from store. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think the, the fresh coffee beans make a big difference, Vigo. Whole beans from store, Shribe. Uh, if you can, okay, if you can buy, uh, let's see here, the uh, roasting at home is not that hard. I do have a roasting video on my channel, how to roast coffee at home. So make sure to check out my older video. Uh, I was using I, uh, the skillet, the iron skillet, and then I kind of like upgrade to popcorn popper. That works pretty good, but yeah. Let's see here. How many bars is in Bravo Beast Express on pre-fusion? I think you're looking about two or three bars. Okay. Okay, not, yeah, I think VTU mentioned about five or six. I think last time I measured it, about, yeah, about three, uh, two or three bars. You know, maybe we should check that again. Okay, let's try that again next time. Because I do have a pressure gauge, so. So I do have this pressure gauge. We, we can measure the pressure on the, uh, from the group head there. So yeah, definitely we should try that. Uh, Richard asked me, are you doing video on French press? Sure, okay, Richard. Uh, so let's try that maybe, uh, you know, we do have a very nice French press here. So at the coffee cave, definitely. Uh, let's try some. But by the way, if you're just joining us, uh, we just finished making Spro over, okay, using geisha. Not bad, not bad, okay. So it's not like Americano, but it's not like prover, kind of like between, okay. You have a very sharp taste as well. Man, I like it, okay. I like it, all right. So, uh, uh, anyway, uh, by the way, if you have not entered the uh, uh, DF64 giveaway, make sure to do so. And then uh, we're gonna have another giveaway. I'm gonna give you guys more detail next couple of days. It's gonna be St. Anthony Industry, their hand grinder, and also their pour over kit. Okay, I'm gonna put everything together for you. Uh, we are going to, it's gonna be, I'm gonna open up to US, Canada, Australia, and also UK as well, England, you know, the area. So we're gonna have some, a lot more people. So. And then uh, should be should be good because it's gonna be. I know most of you are watching my channel. Most likely you already have Espresso Motion at home, so this Senate and Industry kit should be great addition to your coffee bar for sure. Okay, should be a lot of fun. And only thing you gotta do is just you know very basic. Follow my channel, 
and also uh, follow the San Anthony industry, uh, their YouTube channel. Yeah, very simple. So I'm going to be uh, posting that next few days. Should be good. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, Matthew asks, are you going, uh, are you doing giveaway in Europe? I th yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yep. Oh, let's see. My coffee show, I bought them to season the burrs of my new grinder. Okay. Lavazza Super Crema. Uh, you know what? Lavazza Super Crema is one of my favorite. Okay. When I start making coffee, they are very forgiving. Making coffee there, they're great for milk-based drink. Yeah, that's a good choice. I love it. Shout out to Florian. Okay, by the way, so we are doing the simulcast, okay? So I got the YouTube live going right now, and also I got the Discord, okay? Uh, uh, free to join, okay? Free to join the uh, D Discord channel. So if you guys are interested, you know what? Just let me know in the comment section, okay? I'm going to get you guys the link. We're trying to stay around like 300 members. So I think we are at like 290-something right now. So yeah, I like to keep it around 300. It's a lot more manageable. So you guys have, you know, get the feedback. You can interact. Have some fun with it. All right. I think, by the way, if you haven't tried Spro over, make sure to do so, okay? <clears throat> uh, it's, it's, a, it's very easy to, there's a lot of coffee recipes out there, folks. Goodness, if you search for anything on YouTube channel, you're going to get tons and tons. Great recipe. By the way, so next few days, we're going to play with uh, GB, a uh, two-in-one, that's grinder and a prover machine in one unit. Works pretty good so far. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with it. I mean, I had it for over a year now, so. But I'm finally, uh, we are going to get uh, get used to it. <clears throat> Hold on a second here. Drunk Vigo, can you sell Hoon t-shirts? Would you add a cartoon drink espresso? Not yet, Vigo. Okay, someday. Someday we're going to have some merchandise, okay? <clears throat> we're going to have some merchandise soon, but yeah. Uh, because you know what? So what if I do like some kind of merchandise? I want something to like useful. You know, I mean. Okay, hold on a second. I'm giving us all we can handle. With the cooker for coffee. By the way, I'm, you know what? Have fun with my live streaming, okay? Because I know some people take my uh, live streaming too seriously about my coffee techniques and whatnot. The thing is in the live streaming, we kind of like learn as go, okay? <clears throat> because I don't plan, because sometimes happens on live streaming. You know, there's no setup here, okay? And we just, we just go with the flow. So, you know, some videos can be educational some video can be very a lot of nonsense going on here as well okay a lot of nonsense but yeah you know what it's all about having fun here let's see here Flor florian mentioned about the <clears throat> the merchandise say uh, hoodie hello guys and welcome back okay that's a good one and also shout out to ice rocket that's good <clears throat> uh, we do have some good loyal okay viewers so oh that's right I, ice rock always mentioned about the wdt doesn't work all right you know what that's something we are going to you know let's do that comparison uh coming days should be a lot of fun because i i, I love to just uh <clears throat> let's make a video the uh one shot with wdt the other shot with uh, just regular shot, okay? So is there any difference in uh, the shot quality from bottomless pore filter? And also, is there any taste difference? I mean, this is why I wish you guys are here right now. Do some blind taste. So, I think that's another reason uh, I've been using, I'm trying to use a lot more with uh, GB because we can actually compare uh, different grinders, okay? Because uh, with, uh, with the Prover, there's a lot, because I don't have to worry about my technique, okay? So we set the recipe on this machine, and then 
we can compare apple to apple on the grinder quality. So let's see here. We got the Jackie just joining us, the Asian Dev. Uh, hold on, we got Matthew. Let's say, I love your live streaming. I learned a lot from you. Good. I'm, I'm glad you learned something here. Okay, Richard mentioned WDT does help to stop channeling. Uh, yes, it does. You know what, so far, but you know what? I don't think anybody talked about the, the proper WD techniques yet, okay? I have not found a good technique for that because everybody kind of like, you know, dig in and, you know, start storing it. So, yeah. Uh, Vigo mentioned channeling makes me cry. You know, Vigo, stop using the uh, bottomless pore filter, okay? Just use the spout it. Especially Express, Bravo Brewster Express is tricky. Okay, very tricky. So, I mean, the so pro is a lot easier, but yeah, express because express comes with the 14 bar pressure on the groove pad. So yeah, you gotta yeah you gotta really work at it. Let's see here. Okay, someone from Europe giveaway waiting for it. Okay, let's do that. Scott Ross. Use a black and decker drill for WDT. Okay. Okay, I think we are pretty good for Tuesday afternoon here, guys. Okay. And uh, we, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Florian, like, yep, but normal filter there. Again, if you're having issues with uh, channeling, I think I have a video on that. Uh, what, last Saturday, I think I did. It's called the title is a secret to a uh, secret to something. I think that's the Ryan's idea. Hold on a second. Yeah, let's get the exact title for you guys. So this one uh, definitely helps uh, stop the channeling. So I think we posted on. You can look for. Hold on. I'm looking at some. Up on um, videos right now. Hold on here. Goodness. I do have a lot of videos on my channel. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Uh, okay, so this uh, this is video on using the Razor. Okay, here we go. Uh, look for Secret to Brabber, Brista Express, the Razor, okay. Uh, it definitely helps with uh, prevent the channeling. So, uh, that video, the Secret to Brabber, Brista Express, that is, uh, it's about a few minutes long, so i show you how to use the Razor, so. Anyway, uh, I think we are pretty good there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning.